Hello friends, welcome back. The intention behind this video is to help you to do formatting of your paper in a right way. So some of the common problems that we face while formatting our conference or a journal paper is discussed in this video. So first step would be selection of the template. Say if you have already aware of the conference or a journal which you are targeting at. So you can go to their website and download the required template. So let me show you one example. Say this is the conference that I am trying to upload my paper to Greece. I'll go to this website and I will search for the template. Right. So I can see here the Reese full paper template. So you can go and download it there. So please look into the conference or the journal website. So based on the conferences, it may have different templates. Once you download the template, start making the editing in the same template only. Let me go to that download. I'll open this. So this is a template I have. See whatever is the title that you want to add, you can start editing into this. Let me zoom it for you. Right. So say suppose I want to add my title here. If you have already typed somewhere, okay, what you can do is you can select this text and press Ctrl Shift C and Ctrl Shift V into the say into the other paper. Say suppose I want to, this is my another paper. I want to have the same template here. I will do this so that the same font, same style is being copied, right? Say, let me type it here. Say, I'm working on multimodal machine learning. So, this is my title. Okay, most of the conferences and journals are looking for blind review. Blind review means the reviewers will not get to know who are the authors. And the authors will not get to know who are the reviewers, right? So they expect you to leave this section as of now blank, okay? There is a phase called as camera ready paper. Once your paper get, get through the review and you are asked to submit a final copy, then you can add your author details. Some of the templates ask for the email or you can use ORC IDs in order to Put it here, right? So, what is a common uh, trend is abstract. There can be of two forms. One is a structured abstract. This is a structured abstract, where in which I have different sections here, and you are expected to fill your paper details in under the following headings. This is called a structured abstract. There might be some conferences and journals which are looking for an unstructured abstract. That means it is just one paragraph which is going to give you the summary of the entire paper. All right. So while writing abstract, please remember that you have to highlight the contributions of what is your technical contribution or what, how novel is your paper compared to others. Right. So in detail about what should be there in the introduction section, how to write a literature review, there are other videos made by me. So you can please refer them. This video focuses on some formatting issues that uh, we have to mandatorily take care while we are drafting our papers, right? So when, when you see here, say I have some fi figure here, okay? So it is actually very difficult for me to move this figure, right? If I move, in the entire format gets disturbed, right? So rather than doing this, if I want to move this figure very easily, right? What should I do? I should either double click on this and go to 
uh, wrap text it is disabled right now okay i'll go to format picture and select the wrap text part okay or let me show you another one say suppose i want to insert some figure uh, let me browse some figure actually you are not supposed to add any um, figures from the internet directly into the paper so you may compose your own figure i will help you out in creating your block diagrams images in the next video say suppose i will say now just tick mark i will use this tick mark okay i repeat you are not supposed to copy any images while you are uploading a paper okay without their consents or copyrights but this is just for demonstration so i have pasted my figure here now if i try to move this figure it's very difficult i actually wanted to move it here so it got moved somewhere so in order to avoid such things what you can do is just double click on this figure you will find an option called as wrap text select this and make it tight now the figure you can move it very easily i can change the figure to my required size and i can move it anywhere where exactly i want to position my paper i can do that right this is one formatting important thing that we have to take care of. right i can increase the size i can decrease the size i can even crop this say example i do not want the i have an extra information which is not required so i can crop this right you can just hover over this black cursor and move like wherever you want so i do not want this part also i will crop this part and say enter right only this part is retained okay that's the one important formatting so once your figure is ready once your figure is ready i will move it here now for every figure you should have a caption and for every table also you should have a caption what do i mean by caption this has been shown here so i mean to say this is called as caption what is the figure saying about okay so this also depends on the format the template in the paper some uh, templates say that fig ure full thing some figure some templates say that only fig dot one dot right so based on the template you can decide so how you should mention it but this is important you are supposed to put the description of the image it should not be a long sentence right uh, or it should not be like a paragraph in brief uh, you sh it should be able to convey what is the figure telling you about please remember all the captions for the figures should be at the bottom of the figure that means this is a figure i should write the caption at the bottom right if it is a table i should be able to write the captions on the top this is a thumb rule for any paper right so for all the figures you should write the caption at the bottom and for all the tables you should be able to write the caption on the top right so same thing i once again repeat uh, you should not use any pictures from the internet and say like this as a part of my contribution or something this is ethically wrong right so this is about one important uh, uh, formatting thing that we need to take care okay in the next video i will brief you about some more such formatting tips see you in the next video thank you